Hey guys, I have a fun activity for you today. We're gonna to change the eye color of four different models. Um, we're gonna change the eye color of two different uh, Timberwolves. And finally, I'm gonna have you add a cool effect to some melting ice cubes. So it'll be fun. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is open up Photoshop and we're gonna open up the file. Uh, I'm gonna open. And you should have downloaded, the, downloaded these from Schoology, but I'm gonna open up the file called model one. All right, so we have a picture of a girl with green eyes and we wanna change the eye color. So it's a few simple steps, um, but we're using techniques with masks and adjustment layers, which is very beneficial going forward. So let's practice doing this a few times. So I'm gonna zoom in on her eyes, command and plus, right there. Um, and the first thing I need to do is make a selection. So I'm gonna use my elliptical marquee tool, which is my second button down right there. And I'm gonna zoom in one more time, or a couple more times. Uh, and I apologize, the quality of this picture is not the best. You can see it's pixelated right there, but I was having difficult, a difficult time finding high quality pictures that didn't have a lot of um, the flash from a, uh, a camera um, with the reflecting off the eyes. And when you have that, it's difficult to do this. So I was looking for eyes with the least amount of reflection on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a selection right here. And remember, the key to moving your selection before you let up on the mouse is holding the space bar. So before I let up on the mouse, if I hold the space bar, I can reposition the location of this selection until I get it where I want it. And if it overlaps just a little bit, it's not that big a deal. We'll fix it um, in a minute or two. All right, so I make that first selection on the left. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make the selection to the right eye as well. The one on the right, reposition it with the space bar. And if I go over a little bit, that's fine. So I have that selection, those selection right, right there. And I'm gonna feather this a little bit. And you'll notice I didn't specify a feather at first. You can apply a feather after the fact. So I'm gonna go select on the menu bar, modify, and I'm gonna choose feather at the bottom. And let's feather this by two pixels, it's fine. All right, so that softens the edge a little bit. Now, the first thing I wanna do is take the color out of the eye. And I'm gonna do that with a black and white adjustment layer. So if I go down here to the little uh, circle that's half light gray, half dark gray, click it, that's your adjustments button. And we're gonna go a black and white adjustments layer and you'll see that takes the color out of the eye. Um, and we can also specify what preset we wanna use. So we're gonna search out the green channel here. So go ahead and hit the drop down and we're gonna go green filter. And that takes a little bit more of the color out, which is what we want. All right, so that looks good. Now, I'm gonna add a solid color adjustment layer to this. So let's go ahead and back to our adjustments button right there and choose solid color. And let's go into our blues right there. And we're gonna hit okay. And you'll see it fills the entire canvas with the blue. Well, we only want the eyes to have the blue over it. So what we must do is hold the option key with your left hand. So hold the option key and then position your cursor in between those two layers. And when you do, you're getting a downward facing arrow. That means you're gonna clip this adjustment layer to this mask. So when I do that, only her eyes have the glue over the top of it. Now, if I zoom out, um, why does it keep jumping like that? If I zoom out, she, it looks real goofy, kind of like a zombie or something like that. Um, so when you adjust the blend mode, we talked about that with the Hulk activity just uh, last week. So right here with our blend mode, let's go ahead and drop that down. And when you scroll down different blend modes, you get different results, right? So we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna go to color right there. So if we go with the color blend mode, you'll see it makes that blue kind of pop right there. So now I'm gonna zoom in. And you can see the blue is spilling over into our eyelid and areas we don't want. So let's go back and select our mask right there. We select our mask. And we know from the last couple weeks that black on a mask paints away, white paints back, right? So get your paintbrush with black, reset to black and white, and put black in your foreground so you have the correct black. And on the mask, um, let's get a soft round brush as well. So make sure your brush is soft and round. And we're simply going to brush that area away just a little bit. I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm just going to Set your opacity about 50% right there. 
And I'm going to click one time where her pupil would be, the dark center of her eye, because I don't want it solid blue over there. I want that to show through a little bit. Um, and I can scoot over, and I'm going to paint this area away a little bit too. And get so, let me flip that color around just a little bit. I overdid it right there. Okay. And then if there's any area of the eye that you want to paint a little more, apply a little more of the mask to, you can. See, I'm spilling over right there. So I'm going black, just take that edge off just a little bit. Um, and now when it zooms out, it appears she has blue eyes, right? So a couple simple steps to make the change of the eye color. Let's do this a few more times. So I'm gonna open up the file, the model two file. All right, same steps. We're gonna zoom in on this model. And we're gonna make our selection, right? So we have our elliptical marquee tool. I'm going right there, best I can. And remember, we can modify with the brush in just a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna go to our adjustments button right there. We're going to black and white filter. We're gonna go our specified green filter in the preset to take more of the color out. We're going to go to that adjustments button, add a solid color. All right, and we can try, I don't know what color. We can, I'm just gonna apply blue now and we can go back and change it later um, to whatever we want. But I have the solid color filling the whole screen. I'm holding the option button with my left hand and position my cursor in between these two layers. And when I click, it clips that blue to her eyes. All right, so let's adjust our blend mode right there. We're gonna go all the way down to color. All right, so we're taking it to color, and we're going to go select our mask right there. And on the mask, we are going to command plus. We're going to brush away just a little bit on the outside because we have black on our brush. We're going to clean this up down here because that's sloppy. And there as well. And I realized I forgot to feather that time. But because I'm using a soft brush at 50% opacity, if I just go along the edge right here, it will achieve a similar result. So I'm going to go right there, go along the edge. Get rid of that at the top because I don't want that spilling over. reducing the brush size just a little bit to clean up the eyes. And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Now, that looks uh, ridiculous with that level of blue. So what I can do, and I have to say I messed up there too, so I'll get rid of that part. Um, so I can always go back up to the solid color adjust or solid color layer and drop my opacity down. So if I go right there and take this down, I can drop that to 70% where it may look good. Um, I can also change the color at any time. So if I double click on this blue right here, double click, I can go to a different color. So if I go up my color ramp, you can see I'm up in my purples. It's giving her a purple, purple eyes now. I get up in my reds, I go down. We can go green, yellow. We can all do all kinds of stuff. All right, let's leave her with purple eyes. I think that looks cool. Um, so hit OK. And you can also add some adjustments up here to that layer to affect it. So let's go ahead, this top row, and if you don't have your adjustments um, tab open, go ahead to Window, click right there so you have it. Uh, let's add a Curves Adjustment Layer. So that's this one right in the middle. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to hit this Downward Facing Arrow, and that's going to clip it to our original mask. So right there, I have Downward Facing Arrow, and I can bring this down just a little bit to decrease the brightness of uh, the purple eyes. All right, so we changed her eyes to purple, we added a, cur added a curves adjustment layer, and everything looks pretty cool there, right? All right, changed her eyes to purple, let's open up model three. All right, model three. All right, she already has cool eyes, and I don't know why you changed the color of those eyes, but for this activity, we're gonna change all the colors of the eyes. So let's get our second button down. Um, we have a elliptical marquee tool. We're making a selection right there. There's our first selection. We're going to go on this side as well. Go 
All right, so we're just like we did before, go to your adjustments button right here. We're gonna go add a black and white filter to take the color out. And our preset is going to be green filter again to take more of the color out. And at this point, we're gonna add our solid color adjustments layer. So right there, we're gonna go solid color at the top. And let's get into, I don't know, that color to start with and we can change it after the fact. So hit okay. And we need to hold option with our left hand and position our cursor in between these two layers to clip it. All right, and it clips that color to that mask, right? All right, so let's go adjust the blend mode down to color. All right, so that gives her a greenish, really kind of unique greenish color there. Um, and we're gonna select our mask. So select your mask, grab your paintbrush. You have the colors black and white on your paintbrush and we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna clean up the areas we don't want to be overlapped. So bump up my brush size. At this point, I'm gonna take my opacity up just a little bit and start removing um, areas that the, the color is overlapping. We don't want that, okay? want that and to get rid of this right here and that right there I'm going to reduce my opacity back to 50% or so close enough and now and because I have a soft brush right there this allows me just to soften the edge just a little bit so it's not so profound um, the difference in color all right and it looks more realistic that way as well Her eyes are very easy to do because she has this cool, dark um, kind of outside edge of her eyes that really define them. Come on. There, now it's resp responding. All right, I'm just going to um, remove the green that's within her pupil a little bit as well. Okay. All right, so we get it like that, um, and I can zoom out, and y'all can choose whatever color you want. Remember, um, when we get to that point, you simply can double click your color um, and move up and down the color ramp. Some colors seem to work better. I like the way the greens look with their eyes, so I'm going to, or this. kind of like this light greenish blue gives a really cool color um, so I'm gonna hit OK there and then you can add a curves adjustment layer as well so if you click that little adjustment button right there clip this to that selection right there this clips it to that mask and then you can make your modifications right there in whatever direction you want okay okay so we've done that and you always have the ability to go on the color fill layer and adjust the opacity as well to make adjustments there. All right, so that's a pretty cool um, eye color change there. Let's uh, go ahead and open up model four. So file, open, and model four is right there. All right, little kid right there. Um, picks this picture because I thought the eyes looked cool. It'd be easy to make a selection, so just go right there. And the only thing about this picture is you can see the reflection in the eyes and that makes it tougher. Um, I was trying to avoid that as much as I can with the pictures, but uh, I kind of let it slide this one. All right, so go ahead and make your first selection to that eye on the left. All right, so you have that area selected. We're gonna do the same on the right. All right, so we have that selected. Let's go ahead and add a black and white adjustment layer. So hit your adjustments button right there, black and white. We're taking the color out and we're going one step further and taking, applying the green filter to take more of the color out. So we're left with that. All right, so let's uh, add our solid color adjustment layer. And I don't know what color we wanna start off with. Let's just start off with purple for now. So hit okay. And we're gonna hold option with our left hand, position our cursor in between the two layers to clip this color to that area. All right, once clipped, go to your blend modes all the way down to color, all right? And I realize I do not like purple at all. Um, so I'm gonna change that right now, double click it. Let's go to, let's go to the greens for now. We can adjust it later. So hit okay. So we have green applied to this kid's eyes and we're going back to our, um, mask right there. 
with our black brush and we're going to bump up the size. I'm going to bump my opacity up as well so it's easier to get rid of the, that part. Okay, so that's what I have there. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to reduce the opacity maybe about 70% and start softening the edge of that eye, right? Clean that up, and I'm going to reduce my brush size just a little bit to paint away where the pupil is. All right, so now I can zoom out. All right, so that's obviously too much green for the eyes. So let's go to our solid color layer right there, take our opacity down, and I've got that down to around 40, 50%, 45, 50%. Um, still not totally sold on the green. Looks kind of goofy. Let's double click that and see what else might look good. So if I get it in my just me. Um, choose whatever color you want and I might even bump this down just a little bit as well. So a little less purple there and I'm going to add an adjustment, um, curves adjustment to this one too. So once you click that button, clip it by hitting this button. It's clipped to the mask. It's applied only to the mask. And let's click about right there and about drop it down. And you can always move this. Yeah, I think um, not liking the results of any of these to be honest with you and I think it has to do with the reflection that's in the eyes um, that's causing the issues here so just pick a color um, that you like I'm gonna go with that okay and when you zoom out it looks a little more realistic okay so we changed the eye color of uh, that little kid uh, there's let's go to the picture of the wolf picture of the wolf so file open and we're going to go to Timberwolf 1. We're going to do the same thing here. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the wolf. One selection, two selection. All right, black and white. Take color out. Go to your green filter. Add a solid color adjustment layer. Let's go to our reds, and we're going to hold Option on the keyboard and clip the red color to the Timberwolf. All right, so it's clipped. We're going to adjust the blend mode down here, the color, and we're going to go select the mask, brush, black on our brush, uh, adjust the brush size. all the way so I can clean this up quicker. And get that how I want it. Reduce my opacity a little bit to get the edges even better. Reduce my brush size and just get that cleaned up. Going to the eye on the right side of the picture, doing the same thing, taking my brush opacity back up to 100%. Making the brush size bigger. A lot of times when you're working on the edge of a mask, um, you'll have your brush too small and it's hard to keep kind of a steady line going. So, if you make your brush a little bigger, it makes it easier to get those edges. So once I make my initial clean it up a little bit, I'm going back to reduce my opacity so I can soften the edges up and reduce my brush size. Show a little of that. All right, so I now have a Timberwolf with red eyes. I think that's a little too bit too much. Um, you can reduce the opacity if you want. 
So we now have a Timberwolf with red eyes. If you want to add a curves adjustment, go ahead and click that. Clip this, this button right there, clips it to that mask, and we can adjust it the way we see fit, okay? All right, so that was Timberwolf 1. We're going to do the same thing with Timberwolf 2. So file, open. All right, we have Timberwolf 2. All right, and start out with a selection. So zoom in. Select that eye right there. Select the eye on the right. All right, so there's a selection. We're taking the color out. So adjustments button, black and white. And we're gonna go to the green filter. Once there, we're gonna add a solid color adjustment layer. So solid color. Let's uh, see what it looked like with yellow eyes today. Okay, so there's yellow. We're holding option on the keyboard. We're clipping that solid color to our mask. It applies to the mask. We're changing our blend mode to color. And I don't like the yellow, so let me change that to something else. Let's try green for right now. All right, so green's right there. We're going to go back to our mask with our brush. And we're going to go back, bump up our opacity, size up the brush so I can clean this. Zoom in. And hopefully what you're beginning to realize in this class is your final result is often dictated by the quality of picture you have. So you, these aren't the highest quality pictures. I got them off the internet. But if you're using some pictures you took with a high quality camera, um, you can really get some good results with this because you start out with a lot of detail you can make modifications at a high level. Um, looks like I took a little much too much off the bottom, so I'm gonna flip my color around to white, paint a little back down there, um, flip it back to black to take away where the pupil would be. Do this, I painted some away there, so let me flip it back to white, put it back, and flip my color around to black to take the center out, and as I zoom out, I have a T wolf with green eyes. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so those are all four models, the T wolves. The last thing I want to show you how to do is um, just make an adjustment to some melting ice cubes. So go ahead and open up the picture of the ice cube. Uh, which one's bigger? Caleb Megabin. We'll go with the one at 7.1, this one. All right, so you pictured the ice cubes. Let's go ahead and unlock your background layer right there. And I want you to select the ice cube on the left. So let's go ahead and fourth button down, grab your quick selection tool right there, and bump your brush size up. Let's just select this ice cube on the left, okay? This tool is having a tough time making a selection because it's a white, the white background. But um, we'll select that area right there, and we need to kind of maybe select this the area that's the reflection of the melting ice cube right there as well. So we've selected that area. Let's go ahead, go ahead and add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Um, we can get to that a couple ways. You can get to it this button right here, or you can go down here and go to hue and saturation. Either way, it takes you to the same place. All right, so we have our hue and saturation. It's applied to that selection. Now, if I just move this one direction or another, I can change the color of this ice cube, right? So I give it a little slight purple effect there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select the ice cube in the middle. So I'm going back to my original layer. Selecting this ice cube right there. And don't want that part, so minus brush. If it doesn't get your selection perfect, don't worry about it because it's going to apply a mask to this anyway, and we can modify the mask. So add your human saturation adjustment layer, and you can change the color. I'll go to a light green or a green, and you can bump up your saturation just a little bit. 
and change it to a green. Okay? Let's go ahead and go back to our original layer. Grab your quick selection tool and we're going to select the ice cube on the top up here. Oops, I have my minus brush, that's why it wasn't working well. Alright, so that ice cube is selected up there. Let's go ahead and back down to our adjustments button, human saturation, and which direction do we want to take this? The color's not looking great, but that's a lot, kind of a lighter blue. And then finally, let's go back to um, that image right there, main layer, and make our final selection of this ice cube. Select what's down there as well. And I'm going to reduce the size of this so I can get in there. Too much. All right, that's what I wanted. And I want that area too. Good. All right, so that's what I wanted. Let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And let's change it. All right, so we're left with that. Now, um, these ice cubes are kind of difficult because the hue and saturation just adjusts the color, and since there wasn't too much color um, in these ice cubes, that's kind of what we were relegated to, the limitations and um, our ability to change the colors. But, uh, all right, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you had fun um, learning, playing with adjustment layers and selections and masks and stuff like that. So, take care.